Hey guys, Ben Place here. Welcome to more Great Ace Attorney Chronicles. I am with my friends again because there is no series without them. Why don't you reintroduce yourselves? Golden Snake, Knight. Honey. <laughs> Sorry. I'm Golden Knight. And I'm Snake. I mean, Snake Driven. Snake Driven. And there's a snake. <laughs> and there's a snake, yes. It's true. I was in the cabin when it happened. Uh, what happened? I don't remember. Also, that counts as a what? <laughs> <clears throat> you were shut inside the cabin's wardrobe, to be precise about the details. Yes. But I don't know Russian. There's no way I would have left that message. Not would have. There is no way you could have left that message, to be precise about the details. Would you mind? <laughs> Forgive me, my dear fellow. <laughs> As I was saying, the person in question wrote the word wardrobe in Russian on the floor. In an attempt to incriminate me for the crime, even though I had been asleep in there the entire time. And then, the same person picked up the broken glass bell that had fallen on the floor. <coughs> For fear of it becoming evidence that would show how Mr. Asogi really died. But why wouldn't this person have taken all the pieces of the bell away? Leaving half behind was always going to raise questions. Yes, well, um... It was past one o'clock in the early hours of the morning. The cabin would have been quite dark. <coughs> the single small lamp suspended from the ceiling would barely cast any light onto the floor there. And I breathed in about three or four trees that yesterday. Little wonder then that the culprit failed to notice a fragment of the tiny item. You all suspect me, don't you? Hold it! Okay, Russian guy says, HOLD IT! <coughs> Seaman Stroganov! <coughs> oh god, he for my bad Russian accent again. <coughs> Nina is woman of sea. She is daughter of strong sailor. Two years ago, they noticed her dancing skills and she went away to join ballet company. But before, she was dancer on this ship. A member of ship's band. You do not accuse Ship's Angel of being criminal. Ah, so that's it. <laughs> you say that when young student died, Nina was there in his cabin. But that is not possible. I give my tooth. Hmm. Well, this is almost interesting. <clears throat> And why would you give your tooth, prey? How can you be so sure? <clears throat> you are a great detective. You should know. <clears throat> Look truth in eyes. Cabin bulkhead was bolted shut from inside. Nobody could go into cabin. Not Nina, not anyone. You want to tell me that killer can walk through locked doors? Yet! It's impossible! Ugh, he's right. But wait, I've read about this in detective stories. People often <clears throat> tie threads around door latches so they can open and close them from the outside. Thread? Are you stupid? These bulkheads are not barn doors. <clears throat> Certainly not. These are watertight doors, as one would expect to find on any modern <coughs> steamship. Constructed of heavy steel with not a gap in sight. No threads or needles or magnets could have been used. Besides, no one knows how those work anyway. No. No, of course not. I thought so, too. But Mr. Narahato suggested it earlier, so... 
Sasaki-san, how could you shift it onto me like that? Way to throw him under the bus. <laughs> <laughs> so Seaman Stroganov has a valid point. The cabin door couldn't have been bolted shut from the outside. But oh, didn't sorry. we like just see? Just noticed my mouse cursor is visible in this, and I don't know if that's a blessing or a curse. Not necessarily. What? I put it to you that I built this cabin door without laying a finger on it. Mm, okay, my current theory is that they went to a sudden stop and um, and the door shut itself just like it did, you know, a bit ago. Yeah, I was thinking the same thing myself. And in this very cabin, <clears throat> we can see the traces of the method I have in mind having been used before. Not a moment to lose. I don't believe it, Dante Bio. Well, Mr. Narahodo, I believe you know what I mean, don't you? A way to shut the bolt of the cabin door from the outside? No. One way does spring to mind, yes. What is it? Do you really know what Mr. Sholmes means, Mr. Narahodo? Yes, and so should you. Because we've seen it happen. <clears throat> Indeed we have. So, would you care to do the honors, Mr. Narahodo? <clears throat> Point out the... Oh. <clears throat> Point out the telling signs of the method that was used to slide the cabin door bolt across from the outside. It looks. Sorry, my state's on fire. I've been breathing in a forest all day, all week long. Oh, okay. Uh, you've been breathing in smoke all day, all week long. I see. Sorry, got yeah, I've got move. a forest in my I got a forest in my lungs. <clears throat> Point out the tell. Uh, uh, it's the books. The books? Are you sure? Uh, yes. Books. Look at the bookcase there. See how all the books and things on it have toppled over. That must have happened when the ship made its emergency stop before. <clears throat> oh, yes, that's right. It's a very powerful vessel, after all. When the engines are thrown into reverse, a violent jolt goes across the entire ship. Any small objects that aren't fastened down are bound to fall over. I believe... Yes, it's what's known as the force of inertia acting on the objects. Inertia is a property of matter. Bill, 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 bill. Okay. <laughs> is there nothing Susato-san does not know? Or that isn't in her book, at least? Well, whatever it's called, the same force that pushed over those books on the bookcase also made something else in this cabin move. The bolt on the cabin door. Ah! It was very obvious just after the emergency stop that the ship made earlier. We had come into this cabin not long before, and we hadn't bolted the door. But then... Uh, I believe that was Hosonaga-san? <clears throat> yeah. H hello, is anyone in there? Shout if you need assistance. Oh, that sounds like... Inspector Hosanaga? Oh, yes! <coughs> That's it! When the ship stopped suddenly, the bolt flew across and locked the door! Yes, it's made of metal, but it's small and light enough to be moved by the ship's sudden change of speed. Or the force of the mm. nepsha, if you want to call it that. Nepsha. <laughs> ah, are you trying to say that last night after Mr. Asogi was killed? <laughs> I'm sorry, but saying that killed me because I don't know. <laughs> Sorry. 
So it's not a locked room mystery after all. Well, no, <clears throat> it is a locked room mystery. It's just that was the solution to it. The SS Barrier made another emergency stop. When I woke up this morning and looked around the cabin, I thought it looked a little odd. All the books on the shelves had toppled over, and all the ornaments. It was almost as if someone had run their hand across the shelves and deliberately knocked everything over. Hmm. Oh yes, I remember that. And I stood them all up again, didn't I? Then when we came into this cabin, we were surprised to see the same thing in here. <laughs> all the books and everything had toppled over, just like in Mr. Asogi's cabin. Oh my! Do you have anything to say about this, Miss Pavlova? <clears throat> Apparently not. Are you out of your mind? You say Bertia made emergency stop? It does seem a little far-fetched. How could that possibly have happened? <laughs> Were you, like, not paying attention before? Unless you're saying the culprit is actually someone from the engine room. What? Oh, it is simple enough. Ow. Hmm? Are you by any chance forgetting the button in the passageway outside used to trigger the emergency alarm? Oh yes, of course. <clears throat> there was a notice, wasn't there? Telling you only to press the button in times of emergency. <clears throat> on dark nights when the fog is dense, the captain cannot afford to rely on the eyes of his lookout alone. Hence the placement of a number of buttons around the vessel to allow any crewman to raise the alarm. The sort of button one is almost compelled to press to satisfy one's curiosity. Very Russian dots. Wait, it, it was you? When the button is pressed, two things happen in the interest of safety. Oh, for... Oh, forget. All right. Oh, for crying out loud. <sighs> Got it. Oh, okay. When the... Uh. The emergency alarm bell rings and the vessel comes to a complete stop. As it indeed did a little earlier today. Oh. I'm sorry if I'm distracted. Dot, dot, dot. Very sexy Russian dots. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Sholmes? Surely it wasn't you who... As I always say, a button has but one purpose in life. So... To be pressed, whatever the occasion. Don't clip that. He sounds almost proud of himself. Oh my, I just got that, and I'm sorry, but I am clipping it. Actually, I don't think I can clip my own videos. How dare you mess with sheep? Mess I, with sheep? I report you to Captain. You are in much trouble now. Yes, in my Russian accent, the I is always, like, a really long, like, I. E. <laughs> Now, I'm certain that we can all wait until later. Let us not overlook the fact that we have now learned a valuable lesson. When the vessel makes an emergency stop, the bolts on the cabin doors slide closed. Except the ones on the other side of the ship. So, what we must now consider. Yes, it all comes down to one thing now. Last night, after what happened to Mr. Asogi, did this ship make an emergency stop? Or did it not? You are idiots. Buria is huge ship with many passengers. If we make emergency stop, even in middle of night, there would be chaos everywhere. Also, pop-ups are getting in the way of my reading.
I am so sorry. I need a lozenge myself. Apparently, it's time to cough. Mm -hmm. What are your thoughts, Mr. Narhodo? Well, it, it's certainly possible that some kind of emergency happened last night. We have evidence to support that idea. Really? Yeah, do we? Oh. What evidence, Mr. Narahato? <clears throat> Fascinating. Should <clears throat> do show us, my good man. Oh dear. Okay. Uh well, I guess it's time to go through the evidence one by one. Brew force. No, that's not it. Nope. <clears throat> Can't actually read it. Let's see. <clears throat> no. Ah. Maybe. As long as not. Mmm. I don't see anything, you guys. Look at this badge! No, I'm not gonna do that. Not with our, um... What about the log? I was just looking at the log. I don't think it's the log, but I could be wrong. Should we try it, at, it... anyway? Yes. I'd say so, you've got enough, uh... You've got enough... Oh! Seaman Stroganov! It's your duty to patrol the first class area of the ship, isn't that right? Da, that is correct. Why? And the ship's log here, this would be where you record the details of your duties. What are you doing with that? That is mine! <clears throat> ah, you rather carelessly left it atop of the little makeshift bureau in the passageway out there. But as responsible passengers, we took it into our care with a mind to return to... Bleh. Oh. <laughs> Sorry, did you want to retake that line? Nah, it's fine. Okay. I left it there on purpose. That is where I put it, always. The point is, looking at what you usually record, it's clear that under normal circumstances, you write the phrase, nothing to report, every 30 minutes. But from 2 o'clock last night until first light this morning, nothing was recorded at all. Nothing recorded in the log? Oh. That is... Da, because nothing happened. Bullshit! Alright. Faster than lightning. But if nothing happened, okay. you would normally write nothing to report, wouldn't you? No. Um... I want to bring something up with something that he said earlier. Okay. He said that uh, our little dancer girl is a daughter of the ship and that she went to go dance with the dance group she so she was originally the daughter of someone on the ship is she actually his daughter and she's that is a he's good trying to question. help her that is a very good question so he's trying to protect her indeed so which tells us that shortly after 2 a.m., something happened here aboard the SS Barrier. <laughs> something sufficiently significant to make you forget to fill in the ship's log, in fact. Mm. I wonder if my mom heard me saying bullshit really loud. <laughs> Are you suggesting? That the ship really did make an emergency stop in the middle of the night. But why? Stop talking rubbish! <clears throat> rubbish. That's a British word. Ah. Uh, if I'm perfectly honest... I find that a little hard to believe myself. <clears throat> oh, why? 
Well, because if something as major as an emergency stop really had happened... Surely all of us would have noticed. Yeah, surely. Hey, don't call me Shirley. That's very true. Thanks to the emergency stop we experienced earlier, we all know what it feels like now. The ship lurched so violently, the alarm bell was so loud. I can't imagine that anybody would just sleep through all that, even if it happened in the dead of night. Well, no, that's... that's a good point. Shom's very... Not if it knocked people hmm. out. And what of... the throbbing? The what now? The what now? <laughs> Sorry, what do you mean? And why did you say it that way? Your head man. Oh, I thought you meant something else. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> I knew what he meant immediately. The, just... the, head, the, the fact that he said head doesn't really clarify things. The throbbing of your <laughs> oh, head since this morning. Wait, wrong voice. The throbbing of your head since this very morning. We have all suffered it. Could you say head? Couldn't you just say headache? Yeah. I don't know. Ah. Oh, yes. I, I have had a headache. You're right. In fact, I haven't been feeling myself since I woke up today. Oh. Nor have I. My head has been feeling heavy ever since dawn. Yes, you have all been afflicted, haven't you? Just as I suspected. He's right, my head's been throbbing today too. Although nobody asked about me. And since eating dinner yesterday evening, everything has felt sort of hazy. I can't really remember anything that happened after I climbed back inside the wardrobe. Then the first thing I noticed this morning was the throbbing pain in my head. Mm. I had already been dragged out of the wardrobe. And had those handcuffs put on me by that point. Why didn't I wake up when all that was happening to me? Good question. Tell me, Mr. Narahodo. You boarded this vessel as a stowaway, didn't you? Oh, um, well, yes. Sorry. The stowaway class of accommodation doesn't usually include meals. What did you survive on? Rats. Ah, well, Kazuma looked after me. He was always happy to share his meals. Nah. So you enjoyed some of the whole roast chicken dish that was served yesterday evening, I take it? Yes, in fact... <laughs> I had all of that. Kazuma wasn't fond of chicken. Oh, really? So the victim didn't eat any of the chicken at all? That's right! Oh. He didn't touch it. Is that relevant, though? My dear fellow, does that not strike you? Oh! Mr. Sholmes, do you mean to say that there was something wrong with the chicken? That's what I thought. I do. No, really? Is that really true? The meal prepared for the passengers last night had been tampered with. So that they could quietly get the prima ballerina on the boat tampered with by the addition of a soporific designed to induce a very deep slumber in those who consumed it. Great Scott! Ah! Oh. A sleeping drug? Do you mean whoever did this laced every meal with a sleeping drug so no one would notice the ship's emergency stop? Oh no. Mr. Naruhado, of course that's not what Mr. Sholmes means. What a far-fetched idea! 
Precisely. Lacing every meal of every passenger on board with a soporific drug would certainly be impossible. Unless, that is, every single member of the crew was a conspirator! What? what? Oh. Mr. Sholmes! Well, seaman. What was with the... okay. I'm sorry to say that any more deception in this matter will get you nowhere. Very Russian thoughts. If you refuse to talk, there would have to be an inquiry made through the shipping company, of course. And were that to happen, every member of the crew and the captain himself would be hauled over the coals. For aiding and abetting a renegade. Very Russian dots. Th this joke of very blank dots is getting old. <laughs> Please, no more. I will tell everything. Eh? Everything? I cannot make problems like this for everyone anymore. These crewmen are your former comrades, I believe. Yes. So when I decided to to run away, I asked them to help me. We all agreed to help. Everyone together. She threw away everything. Her fame in the ballet, Mother Russia. We wanted to help our angel. Ah. Oh. I don't believe it. You know what I just noticed? What? This guy's this guy's got stripes. Mm-hmm. Like his face is striped. Oh wow! You're oh right. yeah, I'll about say. that. Listen, yeah, yeah. That's it. You are yeah. right. We put sleeping drug in chicken last night. Yes, That's I remember now. That's because of his pet snake. I did notice chewing on a lump of something strange and bitter at one point. Da, we could not all make drug. How do you say? Dissolve? Ugh, talk about heavy seasoning. At midnight, in waters near Shanghai, we brought our angel on board. She was helped by comrade on shore with small fishing boat. While all the passengers of the SS Barrier slept soundly, Thanks to the almost magical effects of the slumber-inducing potion their evening meals had contained. <laughs> so if that's what happened, the only people awake on the ship last night were the crew, people who dislike chicken, and... Wait, what? <laughs> the newly boarded passenger, Miss Pavlova. Dun dun dun. And that means it would have been possible for you. You could have used the emergency stop trick to lock Kazuma's cabin door. But how does that make sense? Surely every cabin door would have ended up locked in that case. And there would have been complete chaos. Oh, I wouldn't say so. What? Ah, of course. Just like us, all the other passengers would have eaten their evening meal of chicken in their cabins. After which they would have been overwhelmed by tiredness because of the sleeping drug. Oh, no. Quite. And accordingly, all passengers were already in their cabins for the night. Yes! The overwhelming majority of passengers would habitually sleep with the cabin doors bolted anyway. And so not one of them would have found it remarkable to find the door locked in the morning. In summary, in order to fasten the vault of a single cabin door on the ship, the culprit brought the entire vessel to an emergency stop in the early hours of the morning. Is that the sole reason why they did that, though? Or was there another reason for the emergency stop, i.e. to pick up or Pavlova? The, um, 
Or the emergency stop was the reason he died in the first place. Yeah. Wait, no, Pavlova would have been on the ship already because we're blaming her for his death. You have talked no, long think about it. time and said many things. What is point? The point is what I said earlier. There was somebody else present on the scene when the victim lost his life last night. Someone who left a message in Russian on the floor in an attempt to incriminate another. Someone who tried desperately to hide the broken fragments of glass that would reveal the culprit's identity. And someone who abused the ship's emergency stop procedure in order to lock a door. Uh. All told, a busy night. They did the emergency stop after he died. Okay. But, but, I, I don't know about any of this. I am just a little girl. You like to speak with your long English words and explain your clever ideas. But I am Sailor, and sailors don't listen to long boarding stories. We don't believe. Sailors like me, we trust only what we see with our eyes. <clears> hmm, <throat> investigative dot. A laudable trait. What? I am quite of the same disposition, my good man. Observation to me is everything. Hmm. Mr. Narahodo. Oh, yes? Do you hear it? That accusatory cry of guilt in the wind. What accusatory cry of guilt? S sorry, you've... you've lost me. Proof of involvement, man. But you can't hear such a call with your ears. No, you must hear it with your eyes with synesthesia, for observation is the basis of all deduction. I think he means the reason why she's always slumped over. No. What are you talking about? I don't know. I believe the time has come to talk of other things, like sealing wax and whether pigs have wings. For one final logic and reasoning spectacular to expose the truth. Mm. <gasps> <clears throat> so, Mr. Narahodo, your assistance, if you please. With what exactly, Mr. Sholmes? With observation, my dear fellow, just as I said, of these two prevaricators. <laughs> that means liar. Observation? If you remember, Mr. Narahodo, we know that somebody tried to fabricate evidence, don't we? By tampering with the scene of Mr. Asogi's death. What we're looking for is some trace of evidence that one of these two was there when it ha happened. Aha, uh -huh, I see. Precisely. You are delightfully quick to grasp my meaning. <laughs> All right, I'll see what I can see. see. So we're looking for a trace of evidence that shows someone else was there last night when Kazuma died. Real quick, before I go on, and this is getting cut from the video, uh, do you know how many minutes of us, like, not actually, like, playing the game there is in this video so far? <laughs> over 9,000. <laughs> Probably. It's over 9,000! What suggests that someone okay. else was there at the scene? Chunky arms. Left ear. Chunky arms. Uh. Oh! Oh! Uh, 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 ah! Ah! I see it! Uh, how do I. How do I. How do I. Uh, try going left. <clears throat> golem, golem. Yeah. There we there go. There you go. Uh huh. Insane! Yes! This is delicious! 
Semen Stroganoff? You seem to have quite a large purple stain on the back of your white uniform there. Eh? Ah, yes. I, um... I don't know where the dirt comes from. From the ground, dumbass. So, nothing in particular comes to mind about the stain? What are you trying to say? I'm saying you're a liar. It would appear that the significance of this stain has escaped your attention, Seaman. Allow me to make it plain. It's a very large purple stain on the back of Seaman Stroganov's uniform. <clears throat> and I think what made it is clear... Oh, it's you. Sorry, I thought it was still her. Indeed it is. So, Mr. Narahodo, please present the evidence that proves it. My pleasure. Okay. It'll be my pleasure. All right, then. The evidence that proves what that stain on the back of Seaman Stroganov's uniform really is. Dun, 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 dun. Uh... The message. So yeah, the picture. Zip it, y'all. Look at this graph. Look at this photograph. Yes, it's this photograph and the ink it shows. That's what caused the stain on your uniform. <laughs> ink. A rather unusual color of ink. Purple. Ah. Ah, the penny dropped at last, and now you see the significance. Mm. The Russian word on the floor next to the victim's body was written in purple ink. And the stain on the back of your uniform is ink of exactly the same color, and it it makes me sad to see this picture in color. Yeah. If the ink had been dry, it couldn't possibly have stained your uniform in that way. Which means... <clears throat> ha! You must have been present in the cabin in the moments immediately after the ink was spilled. Very Russian thoughts. All right, yes. Russian. It was me. I did it. Everything. I just wanted her to know it was me. I arranged everything in that student's cabin to make it look like wardrobe man did it. Then I pressed the button to make Buria do emergency stop, and bolt cabin door shut. I did everything so no one would suspect our angel. Beef, please. I think it's beef. beef. I think it's beef. Oh, beef. Beef. Don't worry, angel. Let me do talking. That's why I pronounce ship as sheep. It was one after one in the morning. I was on duty, patrolling passageway. Then our angel came to me. She was white like sheet. Peace, please, you must help me. <laughs> I went with her. The door to cabin number one was open. When I looked inside, I saw student boy on floor. What, what happened here? Oh. Da, 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 da. Please, don't tell anyone. My little one. My little furry friend. Everything that happened in cabin is like Angel told you. The kitten escaped through the ventilator into Mr. Asogi's cabin. Then he tripped over it and broke his neck when he fell onto the floor. Oof. Big oof. Yes, that is right. So wait, wait up to the, what about the trial? Is there not gonna be one? <clears throat> ah, so after the incident, when the cat ran away, Miss Pavlova visited the cabin next to hers. Only to find its occupant lying lifeless on the floor. <laughs> she said she was worried when she heard sound of something falling on the floor. That's when she went to look. No, Angel? Wait a sec. 
Oh, wait, what? Uh, how? The door was not locked. So she opened to look, and you already know what happened after. Wait a minute, but if everybody was already asleep from the drug, they, they had to have planned the drugging ahead of time. Yeah, they planned the drugging ahead of time so that she could get aboard. And then he tripped over the cat, which has gotten into his cabin and became... Uh, right, but, well, now they're saying, but now they're saying that he stopped this, didn't stop the ship until he was already dead. Which yeah. Contradicts, uh, which contradicts... Which, which absolutely, which contradicts the idea that they stopped the ship before she got on. The emergency stop happened after he was dead. That didn't mean that they couldn't slowly come to a stop to have her aboard okay, the ship. Okay, so you're saying they stopped twice. Got it. That, that's what was confusing me. So they stopped twice. Yeah, they did an emergency stop uh, after road. he was dead. I got it. I got it. Any road. Yeah. There's just one thing, if you wouldn't mind. What? When you went to Mr. Osogi's cabin, Miss Pavlova, was he already dead? Why? I already told you. When Nina opened the door of student's cabin and looked... I was asking Miss Pavlova. Mmm. Show me that sass. Well, Miss Pavlova? <clears throat> uh. Oh. Yes, that is right. I saw him. It was dark. He was wearing black, but... He was on the floor, not moving. Hey guys, thank you for watching the video. If you like my content and you'd like to support me, have a look at my Patreon page, where you can get rewards like joining my Discord server, requesting my next LP, and even guest commentating an episode. Link is in the description down below.